Welcome. Welcome to the airport operations section of the taxi orientation course. Airport operations describes the rules, the regulations, the fees involved in operating as a taxi cab operator at the airport. The airport operating permit costs $150 per year per vehicle. Taxi cabs are to be available at the lower curb side outside the baggage claim area at Terminal A and in Terminal B. The rates to, that we charge as taxi cab drivers is $250 the initial drop, each additional mile $260, and 40 cents per minute waiting time. In addition to that, we charge the departure fee at the airport for the consumer or that we can charge the consumer is $1. So every time we leave the airport, our ABI tax that we need to have in order to work at the airport will be deducted that one dollar the minimum charge out of the airport is 11.50 so let's suppose a customer needs to go just right outside the airport even though the meter might run five bucks the minimum fare that we can charge him is 11.50 the late hour fee from 7 p.m to 7 a.m is an additional dollar so this 250 is converted to 350 after 7 and before 7 a.m. So it's already automatically calibrated into the meter. Division 4, we're going to discuss Division 4 of the Ground Transportation Vehicle for Hire right here. Section 384 is a definitions. The following definitions pertain only to the contents of this division. A representative, A, a representative means an individual representing a company, corporation, cooperative association, or organization authorized and permitted by the director to conduct vehicles for higher service offered at the San Antonio International Airport. Section 385, the scope and intent. A, the provision of this division shall be followed by all holders, companies, drivers, and representatives providing vehicles for higher services at the San Antonio International Airport. So this section here, we as cab drivers and company owners have to follow it. B, the director is authorized to enforce all provisions of this chapter and city ordinances, including the city ground transportation ordinance chapter 33 as amended and ordinances related to commercial activities and personal conduct at the San Antonio International and St. Stenson Municipal Airport. So the director and the person he designates can enforce this provisions. Number C, all representatives, drivers, operators, holders, owners, and persons operating any vehicle for hire at the San Antonio International Airport shall obey the lawful orders issued by the director whenever conducting operations or operating any vehicle for hire at the San Antonio International Airport. So as operators, drivers, we need to uh, follow their directions, their lawful directions, orders that they issue to us. That, uh, the red shirts and the uh, police 
section 86 ground transportation fees a a drive the driver of each tax cap limo shuttle buses and motor coach carrying a passenger or passengers and or luggage from the terminal buildings at the Santo International Airport shall pay the city the established service fee for each trip originating and or departing from any terminal building of the airport to any point or destination. Such service fees shall be paid in a manner prescribed by the director with one or more passengers and or luggage. In the case of taxi cabs of a taxi cab, the total service fee may be added to the metered fare whether applicable. It shall be unlawful for any tax cab driver to depart from the designated pa passenger loading area with a passenger or passengers and or luggage without having properly paid required service fee in effect and as many and may be amended by order of the city council from time to time. Ground transportation fees may be collected through an automatic vehicle identification system or the IV ABI that I mentioned earlier or other means approved by the director. So that means here that if you're going to load at the airport even with luggage, just luggage alone, you have to pay a fee. Right now, the fee for each time we load out of the terminal is $1. So, it's uh, a law that we need to pay the director this fee. B, the established service fee shall maintain, remain in effect unless amended by order of the city council as, as may be necessary from time to time. Operators of, C, operators of ground transportation vehicles for hire are prohibited from using the public parking structures unless approved to do so by the director. When applicable, all ground transportation fees shall be collected through the designated and usual form prescribed by the director. Now, we are approved to park in the parking lot when we have personals. There's a designated spot in the parking lot for taxi cabs where we can park our cars, walk inside the terminal, and bring our customers that have made appointments with us back to our cabs for service. The way we pay is the clerk as we exit the parking lot, we'll take down our cap number and deduct the fee from our AVI tag manually as of November of 2013. Hopefully in the future, we will have automatic machines to deduct our dollar as we exit the parking lot. Section 387, Designated Areas. All ground transportation vehicles operating at the San Antonio Airport shall stop, st shall stop, stand, or park only in such a manner and in such areas as may be designated from time to time by the director. So we can only park where they designate. Right now we park at 605 under the underpass expressway. As a holding lot, and then we move forward to point, to Terminal A and B to load our customers. Section 388, Taxi Cab uh, Forward Slash Vehicles Waiting Spaces. The A, the driver of a taxi cab of waiting fares at the terminals shall stop, stand, or park in strict conform conformity to the lines delineated the applicable waiting areas. In other words, only where they designate we can park. Drivers shall not allow shall not allow the doors 
of the vehicles to remain open, nor shall they allow the doors to impede pedestrian traffic. In no case shall a tax cab wait for a fare by stopping, standing, or parking upon a street not designated as a tax cab staging or quarrying area. In other words, park where you're supposed to. If you unload upstairs, uh, you're not supposed to pick up a passenger upstairs. The number of tax cabs waiting to pick up passengers at the terminal building at the San Antonio International Airport shall be limited by the amount of available designated staging or quarrying areas as the designated by the director. The allocation of space available for quarrying, staging, and loading of taxi cabs shall be determined by the director. However, this allocation, allocated space may be altered by the director from time to time based on the amount of available curb space and other requirements. So again, the director can decide how many, how large of a cap stand we have, how much of a proper operation. That's section 389. Excess or prolonged use of horn sirens, whistles, or other noise generating devices by operators holders, uh, owners, and drivers of any vehicle for hire is strictly prohibited, and continued use shall subject the operator, holder, owner, company, and or driver to citation and or removal of vehicle from the airport. So we're not supposed to use horns, uh, especially prolonged use of horns, excess use of horns. Section 390, Aviation Director, Department, Ground Transportation Personnel. Aviation Director, Ground Transportation Personnel will be assigned an area or areas designated by the Director for the purpose of answering questions and providing information to patrons using ground transportation at the airport. No driver company owner, manager, or representative of any ground transportation association or company shall interfere with the duties of the aviation department ground transportation personnel. So that means that these people, the red shirts, as we call them, are out there uh, to answer questions of the consumer. Hopefully, uh, they'll answer the questions correctly. Solicitation. No discount tickets shall be issued or sold or given to walk-up passengers for the purpose of reduced fares for any vehicle for hire while operating at the Santo International Airport. No solicitation or dispensing of any product or coupons will be permitted in areas where ground transportation vehicles Horrid and stage or load. This concludes this section on airport operations. I hope it'll enlighten you with uh, the do's and don'ts at the airport. Thank you very much for your attention.